this is Arjun Impressions and um, so we're gonna go through the whole process of taking an Arjun Impression okay um, Arjun Impressions are we use Arjun Impressions to take uh, diagnostic casts um, also Arjun Impressions can be used for um, making some bleaching trays um, we can use Arjun Impressions sometimes to do RPDs and there's, there's many other things that we can use an ar a good Arjuna impression. So in order to take a good Arjuna impression, we're going to go through the basics of this. Uh, the first thing we need to do is um, examine the patient and see what kind of tray we're going to use and if there's anything that we need to take care of before taking an Arjuna impression. And this is, so we go to the patient's mouth and what we're going to we, what we're going to look for is open up your eyes, and we're just going to do a truly examination, a slight examination. And what I'm trying to find is any temporary crowns, uh, any removal partial dentures, or any other prosthetic component that might either come off with the impression or locked in the impression as I'm taking it. Sometimes. When we have bridges, Arginet will flow under the pontic side and we can may get locked that impression. Also, uh, some patients would have uh, lingual toroids or maxillary toroids, bony protrusions, that will prevent from seeing that tray all the way down or uh, can lock down that tray. Okay, so once once we check, open up for me, sir. Thank you. Once we truly check for any of those problems, the only thing I need is a disposable mirror or just a mirror. I also want to see an, an easy way to check or to measure or give me an idea of what size of a tray I'm using. I will use the, the back end of the, of, the, of the mirror, go take it to the maybe to the first molar area and from there I can basically get a measure a very rough measure then I can go on my trace and kind of like place it where it might go to the first motors and this case for example I probably will be going for a large plastic trace when we talk about plastic trays, we have like the ones we're using here, plastic trays, or we have metal trays as well. We decided to use large plastic trays in this case, and I'm just going to try it. I, I, I want to try it in. I'm going to try in the, the lower one first. What I like to do is I like to retract with the mirror on one side, and then as I'm retracting on that side with the same tray, I'm gonna retract the other side, have it there, and make sure this tray fits comfortably, it wobbles a little bit, and most important, that covers most of the teeth, okay? If for any reason the tray does not cover all the, all the teeth, we can always add wax. Around the, around the edges of the tray just to make it more to make it a little bit bigger or also the tray the, 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 the wax on the tray will help it make it fit better some portions we need to make it fit better you know, it will get a little bit bigger and and can copy better the, 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 the deepest part of the vestibule, okay? You don't have to use it all the time, but if you see that you got the right or the correct tray size and you have, let's say, third motors, maybe you want to add a little bit of wax like that. This wax is very soft and it can be very moldable. Now, I take it back to the patient's mouth. Again, I retract on one side. I set it right there. And I need to make sure, let's see if we can get a good shot. 
that the tray covers entirely all the teeth, okay? This is what I'm looking for. So this tray is a good, it's a good one for that. I wanna try the upper one now. On the upper, again, I retract. I wanna go all the way to the back to where the hamular notches are, okay? And then from there, make sure it covers all the teeth. This one is a very good size for our patient, okay? Make sure it wobbles and it's easy to take. Now that we have chosen the impression trays we need, it's best to do it this way so you don't cross contaminate and you, 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 you get to try small, medium, large. Using the back of the, of, the, of the mirror, you can get a ballpark idea, okay? So let's go for the next step. Next step, now, now that we check patient's mouth, now that we decide which tray we're using, it's time for, when we're using plastic trays, we need to put some adhesive on. The adhesive, it's a special adhesive for plastic trays and alginate. If you're using any other impression material, you need to use a compatible adhesive, okay? Uh, the adhesive comes with a special brush, but this brush, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna put, because this, this tray has been already in the patient's mouth, so if I, just, if I use this one, it would be like if, you, if you're double dipping nachos in the Super Bowl, right? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to take some of the adhesive, put it in a mason cup, use another disposable brush, and just paint a thin coat of adhesive all around the inside of this tray. It's very important we get a thin coat everywhere and also include the sides. Remember, the alginate is going to start flowing all, all around the tray, okay? And we got, we need a good retention of the acrylic. Once we do that, then you shake it. And you shake it, you shake it to dry it out as if it was a Polaroid picture. Polaroid picture, right? We do this with the upper and we do this with the lower. In this case, I'm showing the use of the wax. We didn't really need it, but I just wanted to show you how it's been, it's, it, it can be used, okay? Once I have a thin coat of both adhesive, we shake it, shake it, shake it, and we get it done, okay? Now, when it comes to alginate, alginate, it's a irreversible hydrocolloid. Irreversible hydrocolloids are one-time use, okay? And some uh, uh, very important facts about in the alginate is the measurement of the water is very, the water ratio um, um, mix, it's very important to get the right consistency. When you're using alginate pre-measure, like this one, this one is three scoops of, 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 of alginate, and you will get a measuring cup, measuring cup, cup that has also one, two, or three scoops of, of water. What I want to do, because of, 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 of we've been taking impressions for so long, we want to have the water just below of where it says powder. That means it's almost two, two and three quarters or two and two thirds of water. We're not going all the way up because the amount of water we'll get, the, the more water we put on the mixture, the more runny we'll get this mixture. And, and because we're taking impressions of patient's mouth, we don't want that alginate running or being very flowable and probably going to, to, the, to the throat of the patient or something like that. So, we're gonna make it a thicker, a thick, a thick mixture of it. When you're opening this, it's very important, we open, as we open the pouch, 
We don't want powder coming out. Do you see the powder? That this powder, I'm just did on purpose right now. But these 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 particles can be inhaled, and this stays in the in the patients or in your lungs, and and they're not they're not safe to. It's not safe to do that. So we open it up, pour it in there. Please use masks as you're doing this process. I'm not using the mask right now because of you know I need I need to talk. Then we use the dark bowl, okay, which is stiffer, and this bowl is specifically made for alginate. And we got two different kinds. Well, actually, we got three different kinds of of, of spatulas. The wider spatulas are made for alginate. The thinner ones we have are made for uh, stone. In this case, what I'm going to do, can you see it very well there, Marco? Yes? I want to say thank you to Marco, my camera guy, this time. And what I'm doing is, I incorporate the water onto the powder. And at the beginning, I like to incorporate it and start mixing. Once I get a thick mixture, then I go to the walls of the bowl, trying to make a more consistent mixture of alginate, okay? As I do this, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a more homogeneous consistency, and if you see, it's not runny, okay? This is the consistency I'm looking for right now, okay? On this patient, I'm gonna load the upper, upper tray, as I load the upper tray, make sure I get all this, and then I do a little bit of extra in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra, and I'm going to go on the occlusal surfaces of my patient's mouth, okay? Then, I will retract from one side, I will put this on the other side, and then I will go all the way to the back. You see how I'm going to the back? I'm setting this part all the way to the back. And then I roll towards the front. As I'm rolling towards the front, all the excess is rolling with it. As I'm doing this, I, I'm pulling the lips, making or overlapping the tray all the way up, okay? And here I wait. I got good um, support of, 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 the, of, the, of the tray, and I also got good support of my patient. If my patient at this point starts gagging, I got good control for him to either push the, push the, 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 the face up like this or distract him. If by any chance the patient starts gagging, I will ask him to lift up the right hand, right foot, for, for, for foot, for five seconds, and then switch to the other one. This is not gonna prevent him from gagging, but he's gonna take his mind off the gagging reflex, okay? I can ask him to raise the hand, I just need to distract him and take the mind of, or of, of the fact that he's gagging, okay? When do I know the, the alginate is, is ready? I always keep a little bit outside, but also inside of the mouth, when this gets a hard consistency, it will be raised to be taken out. How do I take it out? It's very important that we use a snap uh, motion. That means I'm not gonna be wiggling it around. I'm just gonna go for one, in one instance, from the back, it's not coming out, from the back, and then out. You see, I broke the seal, and then I took it out. And what am I looking for? Do you get a good shot right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm looking for on a good impression is that I get material all the way up to the deepest portion of the vestibule. I copy all the teeth free of bubbles. I, I copy all the palate, okay? And I get not so much excess in the back. 
this is what I call a pretty good impression. Okay? So what do I do with the impression after this? Something very important. I need to go ahead and disinfect the impression. Rinse it out. And right now, the reversible, irreversible hydrocolloid is going to start going through some phases, such as senior, se, how do you say? How do you say, Marco? Senioresis and imbibition. Okay? That means it'll start absorbing or expelling water. So what I need to do is I need to give a 100% humidity environment for the next, mm, you know, half an hour maybe. Well, give me my, my, the time to take the second tray, the second impression. I will leave this one on a sealed bag like this. Now, my impression is being, um, it's, it's in a safe spot, right? If you leave it, if you leave it outside on, without any water, it'll start expelling some water. If you leave it deeper in water, it'll start absorbing water. As it absorbs or, or, or expels water, uh, the alginate will start distorting or distort getting distortioning, right? How do you say that, Marco? It'll start becoming distorted. Okay. So normally you will have your assistant here cleaning up your mess. In this case, my assistant is taking I have one assistant in the chair and the other assistant is taking video, right? See, so we might be editing this one, this part there. But anyways, as we as we clean, there you go. There we go. And we repeat the same process for the lower. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that we're going to do on the lower. But now let's take the lower impression. Again, we got the alginate. Um, Alginate, some people will open it as if it was a bag of chips or in a hamburger way. I like to open it in the hot dog way. You see, I learned that last year with the, with the, with the D2 students. So hot dog way, very nice way to do it. You see patients get so messy, it's perfectly fine. I don't mind for them to get messy right now. What I, not, what I need is to get a very good impression. After that, they'll clean up and nothing's gonna happen. I do it again, you know. I incorporate the water into the powder, right? I start incorporating this into a thicker mixture. Once I get this mixture pretty even and homogeneous, then I go on to the sides. And this, this movement here that I'm doing towards the sides or the walls of the, bowl, of the bowl will give me that nice creamy consistency. Okay? Working time, you will start, the more you make, the more, the more impressions you take, the better, you see, you see the, the, the creamy pasture the, or, or, or texture? The more impressions you take, the better you, you will get at timing or getting that working time of the materials, okay? Remember, the temperature of the water will directly affect. Again, I take a little bit of alginate, rub it on the occlusals. I can use the mirror or I can use my finger, okay? I do this, I set it. Once I set it, I go from the back. Once I set the back, I, I roll it towards the front. I ask my patient to lift up the tongue. Good job. I make sure I stretch out those cheeks here, okay? And I hold it. Now, I know I have a, I have, I have a little bit here that, it's, that it will, will, let, will tell me how, how is it um, is it getting ready or not? But inside of the mouth, because of the of the of, of the temperature inside of the mouth, 
it'll, it'll run or it'll set faster than outside. I always need to, I always need to be a, a, a very, very careful on, on keeping it this stable. Many people just take the impression and they take off. You don't, you cannot take off. You have to be very careful of excess, the excess going to the back of the mouth. You have to be, you know, looking at your patient's reactions and you have to be very careful on, 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 on taking these impressions or, or you, don't, you don't take it, you have to take it very serious. I take the excess off. Open up for me. Once it's set, it's pretty much set. Again, I come from the back, I snap it in the outside and from the back, and then I take it from the front. And what do I get? I got I got one little bubble here that it's not in the way of what I'm looking for. But look how I get the whole vestibule very well, the whole lingual vestibule as well, and all the teeth perfectly centered in the middle of the tray. For the lower, for the lower uh, um, trays, let me clean this up. Maybe we'll edit this portion here. Let me take this gloves off. There you go. For, for the lower impression, we need to take or we need to fabricate the tongue space. We need to fill up this tongue space. There's so many ways to do this. A very easy way to do this, I'll show you. You will grab a paper towel, this paper towel, you wet it. And then you fold it, you fold it, you fold it until you can pretty much put it right here. Can you see, can you see there, Marco? Lift it up. So this will just fit in this space, okay? It doesn't have to fit snugly, snuggy, or how do you say that? Snug. Snug. It's just, it is just gonna be a support for some alginate. So let's leave it here in the, in, in the table like this. I'm going to take a little bit of alginate, some alginate, maybe about, maybe about a scoop or two, maybe just about a scope, scope, scoop. And this one's not going to the patient's mouth, so I can kind of like eyeball it. But I, I follow the same principle. I incorporate the water into the into the powder and I go towards the walls. In this case, I'm getting a, a much more thicker, I didn't put as much water, and I'm getting a much more thicker consistency of alginate. You'll see. It's almost as thick as you can play with it, you see? And this, we'll just set it up here and with some water, I'm just gonna adapt this into the floor of the mouth, making the tongue space, filling up the tongue space with some alginate. That way, when I pour up the impressions, Impressions will come out very, very smooth. This is how a lower impression should look like. Tongue space completely filled with some alginate. Okay? All teeth are enclosed or within the tray. And the deepest part of the vestibule is very well copied. Now, what do I do? Well, this one doesn't also has to be disinfected. Then I rinse it. I get two paper towels. I wrap it up. And it goes 
into the blue. Once we got two, the two impressions, this is what we, this is what, what I, I want to get out of the impressions. Like I said, all the teeth are enclosed or within the, the limits of the, the limits of the, of the trays. I have copied the deepest portion of the vestibule. On the tongue space of the lower, I filled it up with some extra alginate. And these trays or these impre alginate impressions are ready to be poured. We'll go upstairs and pour them up in the, in the lab. Salud.